Hi, my name is Paul Dyshek, founder of Electric Till Mist of Athletic Conditioning. I would like to talk to you today about the butterfly stretch. This is a very common stretch, so I would like to talk about it, how to do it properly and what's involved. Okay. Number one, um, there are two major muscle groups that are being stretched. The air ductus or the inner thigh and the rotators. Mainly the leg rotates outward. So the inward rotators have been stretched, which is the gluteus medius and medium. Okay. Um, so there's some variations. Very often dancers bring the legs a little bit out. Um, sometimes other sports the legs are pulled a little bit in. Okay. Um, very often when people can do the stretch, it may not necessarily be due to the muscles here, the air ductus or the inner side. It could be due to rotators as well. Okay. So what we will do here is to test if the rotators are flexible enough. And put one leg over the other and try to rotate it. If the leg does not rotate, let's say you're here and you can't go anymore, rotators may be the problem. And if you could go here, the next step is to pull up and test how much more this goes into your body. Okay? Then so on the other side. Okay. You can do this lying down. Okay. Now if this so happens that you're doing this stretch and you really can't do it, it makes sense to work on this stretch first before doing the butterfly. Okay? You can actually do the stretch right before the butterfly, that will help you. Okay. Um, now, a couple of things. Most people, when they sit in the stretch, the body is not going to be upright. So you may want to sit with the wall behind you to support you and simply press down on your legs. Okay. Make sure you're warmed up before doing this. Okay. It also makes sense to do one leg at a time. So we would go to one side and press one leg down the opposite leg then go to the other side press down the opposite leg okay. then press both legs down the next thing you can do is squeeze the outward rotators this way forcing the leg to rotate a little bit more and move side to side to do that we will put the hand behind us lift the hips about an inch or so off the floor and squeeze the leg down. Okay? Squeeze the leg down and then come down. Okay. On the side. Lift a little bit. Squeeze the leg down using the glutes. And back down. Okay. Now once you have both legs flat on the floor, you want to get a little bit more flexibility. You can put one leg on top of the other. That's one option. Okay. And you can put the yoga block under your feet. Lift the body and press the knees below the level of the block. Okay. Get a more stretch this one. Okay. Your body is slightly off the floor. Your hips are slightly off the floor. Okay. Um, now another option is to do this exercise lying down on your back. Some people may find this more favorable. Okay. So I lie down on my back. I have my feet and I have a butterfly here. I can pull it a little bit into my body if I like, a little bit more. If I want to work on the inner side muscles, I'll release the legs and just push them down. I want to work on the rotators. I'll place one leg over the other and pull up.
Thanks to one other side. Try the butterfly again. And of course, very often what people do is grab the feet and push with the elbows on the legs. Okay. Now it's very difficult to do this and keep your back straight. That means that your shoulders have to be down away from the ears and your elbows have to push down but if this is something you're comfortable doing you can do that as well okay so this is the butterfly good luck training